Hey y'all, Dekamon here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Last time, we resumed our journey through Pandemonium, saw Athena is actually here in the present, reconstituted, and speaking of reconstituted, welcome back Eric and La Habrea, and Themis too. Although unfortunately, he is fully under Athena's control, and most likely going to be our next fight. Speaking of fights, man, these last two have been against some freaky monsters, man. Pandemonium itself, the Eater of Souls, ugh. And what do we have next? The Emissary's Judgment. What the heck? Look at this! It looks like the freaking courtroom from Danganronpa. Well. I have told you all I know of Athena and the many secrets she kept hidden from the world. If she indeed stored her memories within the heart of Sabik. We must ask ourselves how they were awakened in this age. When was the crystal last sighted? Hmm. During my fight with the Ultima weapon, in the hands of the Asians, presumably. Yeah, last I saw it was, uh... Still sitting in Ultima weapon's chest. In which you triumphed, but failed to recover the heart. And according to your colleagues, there was another on the battlefield that day. An Asian. And the self-same Asian was later struck down at a location known as the Etherochemical Research Facility. Oh... L La Habrea, the present-day La Habrea, must have scooped the heart up and had it on him when we whacked him at the ARF. I've heard that name, and recently, the sight of Professor Claudian's disappearance. Indeed, he was tracing an ethereal signature resembling that of the memory crystal in his possession. A signature that may well have belonged to the heart of Sabik. In which case, it is no coincidence that Athena's awakening followed. But what reason would he have to bring her back to life? Was his mind not his own? Eh, yeah, quite possibly. Or Claudia Andrews just being over-eager. Yet more questions without answers. Although Athena's essence is that of memory, her magics have not suffered for lack of a physical body. As the world is now, it should not be possible. But she must have found a suitable vessel. If Elidibus is to be believed, she readies this vessel for godhood, and is perilously close to success. It beggars belief. As you well know, you were the linchpin of her ambition. Yours was the only form that could contain the immense power Athena required, and it has long since turned to dust. Oh, this is definitely an elegant thing. As pleasant as this discussion is, we require more information if we're to unravel this mystery. You know who awaits you, Decamon. Themis. I fear you won't find him so cooperative as we are accustomed to. We know not how fast the space beyond these gates may be, but somewhere within lurks Athena, with the lid of us leashed at her side. Mm hmm. This may be a simplistic theory, but hear me out. If Themis arose from his memories intact, he will be eager to see reason. We need only break the magics that bind him to regain our old ally. When I had fallen under Hephaestus' influence, you didn't stop trying until I was freed. I would ask that you do the same for Themis. Though none of us are real in the conventional sense, I feel it must be done. Themis would never have wished to be your enemy. That's true. Of course, La Habrea is probably going to think we're naive here. Well, Eric's perspective is a sentimental one. Elidibus may possess privileged knowledge. To question him unimpeded by magics would be ideal. The guest is broke free of her bonds in her final moments, suggesting that Athena's hold weakens under the weight of combat. You might use the same principle to unshackle Elidibus's mind. That is the hope. But remember that our very nature is fragile. Even if he inhabits a vessel with which to meet you in battle, I am certain it is not meant to endure. If left weakened for too long, his ether may dissipate back into the ethereal sea. You had best act quickly. Mm-hmm. All right, time for floor 11. What do we got, Themis? <laughs> Is he gonna pop up as the Warrior of Light again? That'd be hilarious. Anabiosis, the 11th circle. All right, let's take a look and see what we're up against. Given form so he may serve as a tool to unlock the secret of your strength. Themis is unable to defy Athena's whims and now stands against you in battle. However, you know that his heart wishes to stand by your side as he did in ages past, 
so you resolve to break Athena's hold by any means necessary. Then you might join forces once again to walk through Pandemonium's gates and fell the evil which lays beyond. Dang. It is very different in here than what I expected. Yeah, it is. It looks like the Danganronpa. Oh, I wonder if this is the Convocation of Fourteen. Oh. I suppose I have Athena to thank for this incarnation. Whoa. I have long considered how I might stand against you, I admit. Dude, that is not the voice I expected him to have. In transformation, I present to you my truth. I am in Lydus. Oh. Dude, he looks really cool. Alright, Elidibus. You, me, and seven others. Let's get this party started. Ephemeral justice, Demas. All right, here we go. All right, the other tanks got it covered. My heart quivers in anticipation. Now it's zoomed out. Oh, this music's very tragic sounding. Alright. There's our room wide. Will light and race or darkness consume? Was close. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, if he leaves a dark streak, we have to get in. If he leaves a light streak, we get out. So, light, we get out. Oh, it's the Amarant theme. Recognized it. Oh. Oh, that's touching. Submit to the emissary's judgment. Not a chance. Oh. The balance must needs be maintained. Lights Discord. Oh, I need to come over here, don't I? Judged worthy to exist. Oh, no? I think I boned up. I think I boned up that mechanic hard. These magics are not for you to lose. Oh, hello. Doing it again. Dismissal ruling. Okay. And then stay out, because it's light. Sure, I don't know if this is a laser or anything. No, okay, it's just a call shot. Oh, not this again. He's dark. I am dark. Okay, so we need to be in the opposite sigil. In, 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 in. Oh, I got clipped. Will you be judged worthy to exist? Yep, okay. Opposite sigil it is. Now to take your measure. Oh god! Uh, ow, 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 ow. Whew. Whew. 
Dude, this is a fight. From beyond. Man, Demas is definitely giving us a run for our money. I am the emissary, and I shall never die. Gag again. Now to take your mega. Light. These magics are not for you to read. He's tethered to darkness, so... Oh, no, that's not a tether to the dark. I thought that was... No, that's a... That's a scholar fat. We're getting it down now. I mean, he's just down to a third, so... Nice to have this plate properly picked up by then. Jesus, that's new. Will light embrace or darkness consume? Oh, darkness rising. And then because it was darkness, everybody's gotta run in. White again. Warriors forged in my own image. Shadow messengers. Thanks, dude. Oh hi. Hey, got clowns. Oh, I see. One's darkness and one's light. So we run into the darkness and avoid the light guy. This, this is a light. So we just stay out. Power from beyond. Light. Almost ran back into it too soon. Gag one more time, huh? Sorry, right, you're not gonna get to finish it. Alright, we were here. Now to take your measure. That is a double out. That's a double out as well, but he's never gonna get to finish it. All right, Elidibus, Themis. Let's see if we can't. That was enough. I hope it was. Not to break his transformation, at least. You back, buddy? Or we gotta say goodbye. Well, that was definitely the most challenging fight we've had so far. I love the light and dark mechanic there. That was very well done. The 
fog has lifted. I knew that Athena's magics magnified the desires of their victim at the expense of aught else, but I never guessed what desire of mine she could exploit. Hmm? The desire to test yourself against me, maybe? Since the moment we met, I have made plain my interest in you, my desire to understand your nature. I suppose that curiosity extended to how each of us would fare in a match of strength. Hmm. Uh-oh. What is this? He's fading, isn't he? Hmm? Or was that Athena's magic breaking? Free. Then I am no longer needed. Yep, he's gonna disappear soon. No! Oh man! I like Themis! Do not look so crestfallen, my friend. These few moments of clarity are more than I could have asked for. Hmm. We need you, Themis. Your work isn't over yet. You must render judgment of Athena's actions. No. We need you, buddy. We need you here with the rest of us. Maybe I could find somewhere to stabilize you? Hmm? Oh. I'm gonna try. A little ether transfusion, maybe? This warmth. Your ether. Didn't work. Damn. Oh. Oh? You've grasped the fraying strands of my being and tied them together with your own. And nevertheless, I fear that I am here on borrowed time. Maybe, but you'll be here long enough to see this through to the end. There aren't that many quests left. I only hope that I can see you through to the last of our battles. Until then, I will cherish every moment. <laughs> Good. Good to have you back with us. Back on the winning side. I am Elidibus, the Emissary. As such, it falls upon me to judge Athena, who would disrupt our carefully maintained balance to fulfill her own desires. I swear I shall not waver in this duty. Let us return to Erechonairos and La Habrea. There is much I would share with you before we embark upon our final ascent. Good. Get the full story, get every last bit of information we need before taking on Athena herself. Probably in her brand new vessel. I can't imagine they're going to be like, yeah, we're making this amazing vessel for Athena, but you're not going to get to fight it. Oh. Actually, it's probably the Savage exclusive form, because we always know the final leg of every raid series, if there's a Savage, and there always is a Savage, it's usually got an exclusive form. That's kind of sad, though. Hm. No, I suspect it, it would have it. It'd have to have it. Athemus, it's good to see you again. I knew Decamon would guide you to our side once again. I am grateful he had the patience to tolerate my lapse in manners. Athena's hold upon me is broken, and I pledge every moment of my remaining time to seeing that she answer for her deeds. <clears throat> Very good. To that end, I would have you share what you know of her plan. Mm-hmm. Come on. Of course. As I mentioned, Athena possesses a vessel that may serve in the creation of a god. It is someone Decamon knows well. A man by the name of Claudian. By a twist of fate, his body proved to be ideal for Athena's purpose. Oh no! Claudian?! I thought she was possessing him just to live, but no! She's the- he's the freaking vessel?! Oh damn! Well, so much for this being an elegant creation. The creation of a person requires not just body, soul, or memory, but rather all three. We are made from the memories of our ancient counterparts, etched upon drifting souls and given form through the infusion of ether. We lack a physical body, yet you can see and feel us all the same. Athena is different. She has carved her memories into Claudian's soul while it was still within its body, 
and thus made both her own. But even she is prone to error. After the sundering, beings became more fragile in both body and soul, and this difference prevents Athena from realizing the full extent of her desires. So that's why she's turned her sights towards Decamon. His uncommon strength rivals even the mightiest of our age. Hmm, wow. By scrutinizing his feats in battle, Athena aims to deduce the secret of Decamon's prowess and use it to fortify her own vessel. Only then will the culmination of her research be at hand. Yeah, but the fact that I'm a Zem is kind of part of the reason I'm so crazy strong. We have to save Claudian. Can't we simply remove Athena's memories from Claudian's body? Then to fight Athena, we must fight Claudian as well. Ah, we gotta save him. I don't know, I beat the Athena out of Themis. Maybe I can beat it out of Claudian. An arduous task, but not impossible. Athena can inscribe herself upon another soul, but she cannot erase its will. If we awaken Claudian's spirit to the reality of his bondage, he might be compelled to wrest his body from Athena's clutches. Hmm. Not a bad plan. We still don't know why she chose Claudian. What makes him more suited than anyone else? Although I have never spoken to Claudian, I did witness an incident that may prove revelatory. When instructing the vessel to do her bidding, she called it by a familiar name, Erica Danaios. Oh! Oh, Claudian is Eric's reincarnation! Isn't he? Oh. What? Why would she? That's it, isn't it? It is as I thought. Mm-hmm. Here to share with the rest of the class, La Habrea. See if I'm right. I mean, we've already proven that modern people a lot of times are reincarnations of the ancients. You know, at least pieces of them. A mother's touch, ooh. Themis, you may have just handed us the key to rescuing Claudian. Ah, <laughs> oh. Go on. What must we do? First and foremost, we must confront Athena. She must be made vulnerable as Elidibus was. Yet our opponent stands on the verge of godhood. As we are now, she would unmake us in an instant. Decamon, we have no choice but to place the burden of our fate, and the fate of many more besides, squarely upon your shoulders. I trust you have no objections. None whatsoever. Pretty much what I expected. God or no, I shall cast her down. It's a burden I'm used to carrying. Objections? No. Concerns? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm used to dealing with this sort of thing. I imagine so. Ever have we relied upon your skill at arms? Mm-hmm. And we all appreciate Decamon's willingness to fling himself at the unknown. However, we have yet to hear how this will liberate Cordian. I have a plan. Do not trouble yourself over the details. The same goes for you, Decamon. You must focus the entirety of your attention on Athena. She will not be easily bested even by one of your prowess. Hmm. Then let us trust in the Habrea and prepare for the battle to come. Uh-huh. The final circle awaits. Athena, Claudian. I was so expecting some sort of elegant hunk of junk. Before we face Athena, I must know. If she had never discovered the Aurasite, had never fallen under its influence, would she have lived a normal life? Would she have been a mother to me? I have asked myself the same questions. Questions with no answer, I fear. Mm hmm. Can't tell, I'm afraid. But that has put them out of our mind. There is something we must discuss, and I would not do so as Lohabrea, but as a father to his son. Lahabray and Eric have their little heart to heart. I get to go deal with Mommy Dearest. Anabiosis. 
the twelfth and final circle. Oh, hard to believe that we're already at the end. So many memories. The chief keyword of Pandemonium's appetite for godhood has been made only more keen by twelve millennia of slumber, and even her own flesh and blood are not but tools with which to feed her hunger. No sacrifice too great, no price too high. Athena would see all life extinguished if it brought her even one ilm closer to her ultimate goal. Her wicked ambitions can be suffered no longer, so you must journey into Pandemonium's heart and cut out their source. Dang. It is angelic in here! You have done well to reach the seat of godhood. Now, bear your souls to me. <laughs> nope. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm liking the beat already. Let's see what you got, Athena. You're definitely not fighting me looking like that. Oh. Damn. That's a heck of a form. She doesn't even open her eyes yet. Damn, listen to that. That is awesome. <sighs> Athena herself. Go. On the soul, that must be her room wide. You cannot escape my eternal days. What do we got Trinity of Souls. Oh, it was a half. Uh oh. Oh, I just got dicked there. The wings! The wings are the key! Alright, so we're just alternating on each of these. That's what it was. I didn't see the wings before. What is this skill? Gynocopus! My phone stacks wore off finally. These chains are forged from the fabric of creation. Oh. Donut point blank, donut point blank. Okay. I see. Yep. I was right. Gonna go for another one, huh? I see. And the length that detain is gonna determine how long we have to get from point A to point B. That's a big donut. Center. I give voice. Okay. There's one there, there's two here. Oh. So. 
so. Oh, I just got marked with something. What is this? Unable to jump. Okay. But we've all got it. Oh, hi. Alternating again. That's fine. Gone and our arena's back. She's got ads now, but they're not doing anything. Making sure my tank stance is on just in case. Down to one. Dude, this is getting bonkers. <sighs> oh, the arena's gone. Behind me. I assume this is the nuke. Oh, Theos' Ultima. That was cool. It, it was the ultimate animation. Strength was. Uh, the donuts over here. I see it. Oh, ah, oh, that's a trap. Oh! Dang it! I got knocked the fuck down. Alternating again. Yep. Just gonna howl at this. Until my health part comes back. I need to lost my target there for a second. Oh, almost got her down. Keep always forgetting that's the that's the push out, Parthenosis. On the souls, the room wide. It's all right. Just down to one percent. We're doing good. We got this. And there goes my uh, my ability to jump is back. There we go. Woo -hoo! Dang. Yeah, I imagine the uh, the ex the savage only form for that can be pretty bonkers. Man, just the normal version of that fight's pretty bonkers. And with that, Pandemonium Anabiosis is complete. And Pandemonium itself is complete! Alright. Now it's time to see how this all plays out. Yeah, sorry, Eric, I had to beat Mama. Now, where's Claudian at? 
countless years I waited within that stifling crystal. And now, when my dream is finally within reach, you stand in my way. Your dream is not but selfish ambition. Its fulfillment would benefit only you. And why, Athena? At the end of this road to godhood, what did you hope to find? Hmm? It matters not. The fact remains that she worked against the interests of the star. Even so, I would hear her answer. I would know why my mother cast us aside. Yeah, so would I. Come on. Oh. Our mask fell off. How unlike you, Eric Thaios. You were never so inquisitive before. Having struck upon a hypothesis, there is but one thing the wise woman desires. Oh. Irrefutable proof. God, that's creepy looking. This woman ain't right in the head. My only question is, was she right in the head before the Orosite? My theory was that any true god would see us as we are, imperfect. She would hammer out our flaws and build something greater. To prove that Kuz could not benefit the star, I would give it the perfect stewards that it might shine brighter than any other. And you would destroy the lives already upon it to do so. In that, I am no different from our peers. Over the course of eons, how many creations have we wrought? Such creatures cannot but usher their inferior predecessors into oblivion. Even without our meddling, nature would take the self-same course. If the destination is the same, is it somehow worse to arrive there by the guidance of a god? I think not. The Orosite made such thoughts irresistible, perhaps, but it cannot have created them from whole cloth. This is Athena's truth. What right have you to pass judgment? You were but a vessel for my masterwork. Your purpose ends there. My only mistake was leaving you possessed of a soul. Sheesh. What are you saying? Poor Eric and Ios, always the last to arrive at the obvious conclusion. I gave birth to you for a single reason, that you might serve as my tool. And like any tool, I crafted you to suit my needs, that you might accept my essence when the time came. Damn. That's harsh, lady. Of course, I also made you more amenable to my demands and ensured that you would feel a clawing affection for your dear mother. However, it seems that my tinkering was insufficient. My very feelings were of your design? Uh oh. What are you planning there, lady? Nobody's watching her. You created a boy unable to grasp even the simplest magic. Ever hopelessly clinging to his mother's robes, unable to do otherwise. I was doomed from the start. Yet here you are, standing in defiance of her design. You are more than what she made you. That is very true. I still feel the sting of it, but with pain comes clarity. You ill deserve to wear the mantle of a god. As stubborn as you are witness, if this star will not be mine, then it serves no purpose. Uh-oh. Another cast of Ultima. What are you trying to do? Take the whole freaking planet down? 
She aims to obliterate the ethereal sea and stem the flow of life. Oh, the hell with that. She will do no such thing. <laughs> Before the battle, Lahabria told me I was the key to finishing this. Although I am but an illusion, my soul has crossed aeons to find its home in another. One whose body Athena has seen fit to purloin as her own. I was right. Claudian is Eris' inheritor. Much of what I once was it now resides in him. Should my memory seize this chance to follow suit, they may resound enough to wake his mind. But Athena inhabits him still. What will become of you? I don't know. But if I can rouse his soul, perhaps it will disrupt Athena's hold. It's the best chance we have. My whole life, others have looked down upon me, but I've never given up searching for my purpose. Now I've found it. Dude, am I loving La Habrea's theme playing right now? The decision is yours to make, and yours alone. Do as you will, my son. I know you shall make me proud. Mm -hmm. Go, Eric. Save the world. Nikitaniros, do not dare. <laughs> Here we go. No! Stop this! Your words hold no sway of me no longer. My life is my own. And I have found my true family. <laughs> ah! My power wanes. The vessel rejects me. That's right, he does. Ah! Kicked her out. There's Claudian, and there's Athena. What's left of her? And no more death ball of Ultima hanging over. Oh, we should leave. What is happening? Athena's magic should be impotent with no body to fuel them. Uh, that's it exactly. Precisely. Athena was the sole force holding the space around Pandemonium together. And now it crumbles. Although little would change if we were buried here, we cannot let this be Decamon's final resting place. Mm-hmm. I believe it's time we made our exit with the professor. Athena can rot. <laughs> of all my miscalculations, to think that you would be my undoing, that you would even be capable of defying me. Is there more you would say to me? Or have you decided to return to your dear mother's bosom? Have you brought Claudian back to me? Apologies, but I am only the dregs of your own memory. I can do naught but watch as the evil you've wrought collapses, burying you under its weight. How disappointing. Truly useless to the last. Sheesh. And who made me that way? Hmm? See ya, Eric. <sighs> Gonna watch Pandemonium disappear? Yep. There it goes! Now is it going to turn back into this chunk of Ozzy's Law that's missing, or is that just gone forever now? I guess it's just gone forever. 
Or maybe it went back to Azizla, where it belongs. Who knows? And with that, this quest, and we're almost done. Although Eric Nairos was not but a collection of memories, I know his absence pains you. But he acted with resolve, full aware of the potential consequences. Let us look back on this moment not with sorrow, but with pride. You both are the heroes of the day. Athena's ambitions would have swallowed the world had you not stemmed their advance. We shall stay here, both to look over Professor Claudian, and ensure that there are no further disturbances in the ethereal sea. You should rest, and I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> rest, he says. Ah, if ever I could. And one last quest, guided by the past. It seems we can do naught but wait. A quest that basically lets us bid farewell to La Habrea, you know, as a decent person before he became a freaking Asian. Lost his mind over the millennia. Perhaps we might discuss a matter which has been troubling me. Hmm? While your colleague Namjiji was enlightening us on the historical events which led to this era, she let slip the name of one of the Asians, La Habrea. Ah, crap. Well, I kind of figured this was going to come up. Although she knew of the figure only from her research, she was most insistent that there is no evidence connecting the Asian to myself. Yet I am aware that this La Habrea used the heart of Sabik to sow chaos throughout your world, and I would be a fool to deny such strong connections between us. You are the only one present who has met the Asian in question, so I would ask you directly. Are he and I one and the same? Is my fate to work in the shadows and bring about untold destruction? <sighs> oh boy. You are him. You can't be certain. I'm... I'm gonna be honest. He deserves the truth. He really does. It's sad to say. I mean, you did believe you were doing right. I see. If you say it is so then there is no reason to disbelieve it. These Asians, or Paragons, I'm told, were ruthless in their schemes to rejoin the Sundered Worlds. I have heard but a small number of their deeds, and still I find it difficult to comprehend the depths to which they were willing to sink. To choose a path of evil, or for the sake of the star. You're afraid you're no different from Athena, huh? I admit, it is a decision I would make under the right circumstances. Although the ages may take their toll, my devotion to my duty will never waver. Hmm? Paying no heed to what might be lost, I will treat the heart of Sabik as a mere tool for my own ends. Never caring to look beyond the surface, I will unleash forces that I fail to truly comprehend, and remain blissfully ignorant of my hypocrisy all the while. Damn. Talk about self-depreciation here. Hmm? Wow, hard cut to black there. Oh. Hey, Claudian must finally be waking up. Welcome back, sleeping dumbass. Yeah, it appears Claudian has awakened. Actually, interesting question. Where's the heart now? Hmm? Take him on. I have some faint memories of what transpired. You stood against Athena and won. And you were there too. And you were. And you were. <laughs> La Habrea. Eric and Iris' memories of you dwell within me still. Damn. That's a hell of a burden to carry. Though unyielding discipline, you hoped to forge a son equal to yourself. But the crucible you placed him in left scars which were loath to heal. 
Yet you were never motivated by selfishness. All you did was in service of your duty. At the least, I... Hmm. I will hear no more. Though you may possess Eric and Iris's memories, you are not him. In rebirth, you have become someone else entirely. And you belong to this age. As such, I am your enemy. And an enemy does not deserve sympathy. Of course, I would never condone the actions of the Asian, But you are not him. You are Laha Brea of the Convocation. You spared no effort in saving us from Athena's machinations. For that, you deserve the utmost praise and my personal thanks. Mm-hmm. See? If you insist on deceiving yourself, then so be it. My stance remains unchanged. Oof. Harsh on everyone, and himself most of all. The most difficult of your trials is behind you. But you may find that Pandemonium has yet to relinquish the last of its secrets. Mm hmm? Among them is the identity of Hephaestus' liberator, who set the very first wheels in motion. There is but one place to find these answers. The past. Now that's true. Someone had to let him out of the box. However, I must insist that you keep silent about Athena's fate. While I doubt it would change the decisions I make, you should not tender us information we could not uncover ourselves. Fair enough. Plus I get to see Themos and Eric one more time. Now that I have said my piece, I shall follow in my son's footsteps. See you in the past. These odious memories will fade to nothing, as was always their fate. Farewell. <sighs> and off he goes. Back to the sea. And what of you, Themis? Hmm? My time too draws near, but I believe I can stay long enough to see this matter through. You shall journey to the past to seek out the truth of La Habrea's words, yes? While Themis himself may have been there to see this encounter, I have the unique opportunity to hear your perspective on the matter. That is, of course, if you will share it with me. Of course. I look forward to it. I shall take in the ethereal sea one final time as I await your return. So back to Elpis, get the truth, come back to Themis. That was a bit of a walk. Dickamon. Truth be told, I thought we'd have little reason to ever visit this place again. It seems I was wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for answers. Just wanted to say hello. Nope. Still got a few mysteries to solve. Now, oh, neatly, you obfuscate your motivations. Do as you will, then. He has gone through the trouble to visit us, so I hardly think Curtness is in order. We braved Pandemonium together. Why not at least share with him our progress? I have relinquished control of Pandemonium to La Habrea. I was never meant to hold it for long, and now such authority resides in rightful hands. With La Habrea's help, we have poured through Athena's research into the Hemithoi. Thus we'll be able to restore Hegemon's mind and body. Ah, cool. Yet yeah, there is still much work to be done. Damage to repair, keywords to replace, the tasks are too many to count. But although the path may be long, our progress is steady. I believe we can safely say that Pandemonium will soon function as it did before. But... Indeed. Before we reach that point, however, there are some matters which must be put to rest. Yeah, who let Hephaestus out? One concerns Pandemonium itself, and another is a personal matter. Until they are settled, I cannot move forward. It shall not take long. Lack of resolve caused me to delay 
fruit I have chosen my course. These concerns must be weighty indeed. Do you intend to share your burden with us? Hmm? If you would bear witness, then come. Your arrival at this very moment almost beggars belief, but I shall not ask you to leave. I simply ask that you do not interfere, no matter what may happen. I have a feeling he's about to burn Pandemonium to the ground. Ah, there's Hegemon. I recognize the hair. Definitely looking better than last time we saw you. Stay here. This will be over soon. Alright. Why did you call me here, Master Lahabea? There is still much to be done if the warders are to be freed. You have served within Pandemonium since Athena's time, have you not? That makes you the most senior key ward, now that Aegisthus is gone. As such, you deserve to know a secret few others are privileged to hear, one concerning myself. Hmm? Can I tell him? Separating Hephaestus from myself required removing part of my soul. A necessary sacrifice, but one which came at no small cost to my natural talents. I am but a shadow of the man I was at the time of my appointment at La Habrea. I could never hope to wield the same magics that Hephaestus used to bind the warders' minds, let alone break their shackles. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's not the La Habrea we knew, is he? Oh, he's about to pass on the mantle. That tone of defeat does not befit your voice, Master Lahabrea. Do not give in to despair. There is no despair, only truth. I do not confide in you to guard a cheap sympathy. Hephaestus left behind fascinating research. His conclusion was that in order to transform a vessel into Hemetheos, absolute control over their mind was essential. As you well know, the magics used to achieve such dominion exploited strong emotions within their victims' hearts. In the case of Hesperos and Aegisthus, their respect for me. Upon slipping his bonds, Hephaestus took steps to throw Pandemonium into chaos. With their attention divided, Key Ward and Warder alike were easy targets. there was an act that came before. Regardless of Hephaestus' prowess, he could not have won freedom on his own. Oh. Oh, oh no, never mind. He's not stepping down. He's accusing her of letting Hephaestus out. For long days and nights, I pondered who might have released him. I could only conclude that Athena's plans were set in motion long, long ago which she claimed the mind of one of her admirers. Shit. Hegemon, none would question your pride in your position, your devotion to pandemonium. But you do not believe I am the one fit to lead it, do you? Your loyalty lies not with my vision for pandemonium, but Athena's. Master Lahabrea, whatever has spurred this sudden accusation, I assure you there is a proper explanation. Oh. Yep. Still corrupted by Athena. What are you doing, La Habrea? Do not approach. She is the 13th. As I have already stated, even should I detect Athena's tinkering, I am currently powerless to dispel it. And so I have come to a decision, one which was made with the best interests of our star in mind. In order to build a better future, I require the strength I have lost. Oh, Aphistios, 
I must embrace these odious memories. Restoring his mask and becoming the La Habrea we knew. Oh. So that's the secret here. Yeah. Mark well this sight. Engrave it upon your very soul. You now bear witness to the true La Havrea. Shoit. I cannot imagine this was an easy choice. But it is done. Is she alive? Yes. And she shall remember this lesson well. Oof. What, did he burn the Athena out of her? Athena's puppet no longer, I see. She may yet harbor ill will towards me, but that is a risk I am willing to take. Our star requires a steady hand to guide it, and now mine is equal to the task. I can no longer allow pandemonium to divert my focus. Hegemon, I would ask that you serve me anew. There is none other more suited to overseeing this prison, none other who will take such pride in their duty. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of faith in your scorching Athena out of her. My loyalty to Athena led me to betray you once before. Why would you allow me to keep the position of keyboard? I require your talents, as I require Hephaestus's. The past is of no consequence. Practical, but pretty damn cold. Very well. In honor of our fallen colleagues, I shall restore this institution to its former glory. <sighs> so Daddy's back to one piece again. Nahabria is himself once more. He wields his authority without hesitation and thinks not twice once his judgment has sounded. <sighs> Yet he is different from Athena. He thinks only of the betterment of the star. So long as duty guides his actions, he shall not share her fate. Yeah, that's what you think. And should his convictions ever waver, the emissary will set him back on the proper course. And that's what you think. Good. If this is the path he chooses to walk, then I will walk with him. I'll allow our bond to fray no further. As his son, I will support him in the days ahead. You should do that. Still doesn't answer who chucked the crystal into the frickin' future. I would ask I would say the same, Decamon. You and I stand on peaks separated by vast chasms. Our perspectives shall never align. Yeah, you're very true about that. And never shall one give way to the other, for such is our nature. With that in mind, let us consider any debts between us to be void. Before you leave here, mark well these words. My resolve shall weather loss unfathomable and yield before no obstacle. Walk your path with the same conviction. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he knows. Interesting. All right, time to report in. There you are, Decamon. While you were away, Themis brought me up to speed on all that happened while I was held prisoner. His story shall light upon any number of questions that put niggling at my conscience, namely those concerning the ethereal signature emanating from Azis La. Doubtless its source was Athena, reaching out as far as she could from her prison, ever grasping for someone to take Erechonaeus' place, grasping for the body his soul resided in. I wanted to ask, when you first found the crystal, 
were you unable to hear the memory stored within? Indeed. It was only after our research was well underway that I could hearken to its whispers. Mm hmm. Contact with the crystal should have awakened the memories, but the passage of time likely changed Erkanaris' soul in subtle ways. Well, not to mention the sundering. Perhaps ethereal resonance was a gradual process in this case. However, being attuned to Erkanaris exposed you to Athena's voice as well. Doubtless the choice to venture forth into Azislav was not your own. It was Athena's influence working through you. Scary thought there. I do recall being strangely fixated on acting alone. I never would have encouraged such recklessness usually. Although the choice was not entirely my own, I still am ashamed of my actions. Mm-hmm. Reflection is how we plant the seeds of growth. Although we must not blame ourselves for events out of our control. That the voice in the crystal belonged to the person from which your soul originated? Well, not even the most brilliant researcher could come to that conclusion. That's very true. Your reinsurance means more than you know. Thank you. Now, one final matter. It concerns the very crystal whose discovery set this adventure in motion. Perhaps sparked by recent events, a new light began to shine from within its depths. From my experience, this may indicate that a new memory has floated to the surface, eager to be observed. Oh. For some time, the question of why Lahabre and Eric and Iris would leave such a crystal behind in the first place has lingered in the back of my mind. With Eric and Iris's memories and such magical talents are at my disposal, I believe I can make this final memory manifest for all of us to behold. Shall we witness it together? Yes, please. So this will answer the final question. Why? Why does this crystal exist in the first place? I mean, stable time loop, I'm guessing, but still, they didn't know that. Hey, Eric. I leave this memory for you, the future of our star. The final days have come, and the creation magics we have so relied upon now hasten our downfall. But despair has not won out. La Habrea and the others of the Convocation are working to stem the chaos which threatens to engulf our star. Their plan requires great sacrifice. Elidibus Themis has already offered to give his life for our salvation. Yet there is another problem which must be dealt with. Pandemonium, wherein are confined our most vicious creations. Even should we survive the final days, it will take time to restore order. If Pandemonium cells were breached and their prisoners set upon the star, our hard-won peace would be obliterated in an instant. Someone must stay behind to ensure that never happens. With Themis and the otherwise indisposed, that responsibility falls to me. Oh. And that is why I must defy the directive of the Convocation. My soul will not be offered to manifest the will of the star, but instead consigned to eternal vigil. I know that in doing so, the final days may take me. I may not live to see my duty upheld. That's why I have resolved to set this crystal adrift in the tides of the underworld. It contains memories of pandemonium from both my father and I, and shall bear this warning to the future, even if I cannot. I've imbued the crystal with magics that will attract it to my essence. Even should I journey through the underworld and be born anew, this message will reach me. Pandemonium shall not be left unattended. If all else fails, then perhaps another man like my dear friend will come along. One with an almost unnatural ability to pick up the scent of trouble. Ah. <laughs> I wonder where he is now. How many souls has he saved? And how many beasts has he slain since we last met? Mm. <laughs> Alongside my warning, this memory shall carry a wish. Decamon? May we meet again. Aw, oh, dang it. Don't make me tear up here. Now listen well. If anyone receives this message, you must come to Pandemonium. Please make haste. 
I repeat. And that's what it was right there, the last bit. Oh. Wait, does that mean pandemonium exists in the present? Is that possible? Oh shit if it does. I guess that means Claudian's gonna hang up his researcher's belt and go guard the place then. Well, that dispels the last of my doubts. Thank you for humoring me. And now we come to this. He's got the heart, doesn't he? It survived. Mm-hmm. There it is. The heart of Sabik itself. Yes. The heart of Sabik. Yeah, we're gonna do destroy that right now. The tie that bound Athena's memories to my body, no doubt. When I regained my senses, I found it on my person. Now it appears your efforts have left it bereft of memories. No chase remains of Athena. However, its power as Aurasite yet remains, and it may prove to be a valuable trove of knowledge in the hands of the right researcher. I feel that fate has left it with me for a reason. I shall take my leave, but on behalf of my colleagues, may the entire star, I thank you both for putting an end to Athena's wickedness. Mm hmm. You really should leave that with me so I can break it. Alright. Guess I get to say farewell to Themis here. Boy, this is going to be a long conclusion. But that's what I expected. Had to wrap up a lot after I see. all. Then Hephaestos' story has been laid bare. What the f. A voiced cutscene? No way! As has the nature of our mysterious crystal, the questions which led us into Pandemonium are answered. And soon order shall be restored. You gave us a voiced cutscene? For a side story? Finally! I too can fade away, unburdened by regret. I could not have reached this point without you, friend. Hmm. A lot of sad goodbyes today. <laughs> so many revelations. But there are more. If you would dig a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Elidibus' soul was plucked from the ethereal sea, and from it I was wrought. <sighs> Surely you have a passing interest in what I remember. In what I feel. You deserve what answers I can provide. While my memories of pandemonium are clear, all else is hazy at best. Oof. Perhaps <sighs> Athena made me this way. Or perhaps it is the result of who or what. I was before. Mm -hmm. After all, Mahabrea wasn't the only Asian we fought. Still, I can recall vague figures. Scenes from my future and your past. At the Crystal Tower's peak, we clash. Mm -hmm. And later, from that self-same spire, I send you forth. into our age, into Elpis. Why do I decide on such a course? <sighs> Formless as these images are, I cannot say. Uh, but now maybe we can. However, I can hazard a guess. Part of you remembered. Remembered I was there. Somewhere within my fragmented memories, I catch a glimpse of our journey into Pandemonium. A glimpse which shows not the path we took or the destination where it led us, yet by its very presence demands that you are required in Elpis. 
And even if that act is but one link in the chain of events which ends in Aetheris' salvation, then this all has meaning. Our time together, every moment, is worthwhile, and I am unburdened by regret. Uh. That said, it is possible my motivations become something else entirely. Mm. That you would cross this vast expanse in the hopes of being reunited with your allies. A devotion that once would have baffled me. <laughs> but after having been to the depths of that twisted prison and back, I think I can understand. Now, I have pulled back the curtain as far as I dare. <laughs> the people of your age call this the Ethereal Sea, a name I quite enjoy, for it teems with life, each star a soul on its journey. And among these uncountable stars, it was yours that crossed my path. For that, I shall be forever grateful. Ah, my goodness. I wish you well on your journey. A journey as long as your star is bright. A journey not bound by the confines of this world or any other. Next reincarnation of the abyss. <laughs> I wonder if we've actually already met them. You never know. It could very well be that we've already met Elidibus's current reincarnation. <laughs> that would be a thing, wouldn't it? That would be a thing. Though. How fascinating. The truths that dwell at the edge of sleep. The course of history is set by its victors. It is immutable, and yet. Should this star continue upon its path? Look. The light. Ah. Uh, off he goes. God dang, man. That was... That was so freaking emotional. <sighs> Welcome back, Dickamon. I hope you said farewell to Themis for me. Recent events have given me not only a new focus for my research, but also insight into my own origins. Truly, it is a gift I could never hope to repay. As Ahabrea said, I am not Eric Kanairos, yet I bear a part of him inside me, and I shall do what I can to follow the traces he has left behind in the present day. A spark has been struck in my mind. I am ready to pursue my research with a fervor the likes of which I have not seen since my youth. Oh, right, of course, idiot. Elidibus wouldn't have a reincarnation because he was Zodiac. Same with La Habrea because La Habrea was never sundered. Ah, uh, but now that he's back in the Ethereal Sea, maybe he will have a reincarnation someday. Doubtless I shall have need of you in the days and moons ahead. When that time comes, I only hope that you will once again lend me your sound counsel. Until then, may you farewell. Mm hmm. Very well indeed. And with that, pandemonium's in the history books. As well as pretty much all of Final Fantasy XIV right now. Oh, hello. Big old map just walked by through me. 
Because, uh, yeah, this is it. With this episode, Final Fantasy XIV officially goes on hiatus. At least until the release of patch 6.45 and the next, uh, he'll do. I got nothing left. We're done. I'm actually done. It's, it's a scary feeling. But at the same time, uh, if my math is right, well, let's just say I'm just going to be swapping one Final Fantasy for another. Because I'm pretty sure I've got these timed out to the point where the next episode that would drop for 14 will be 16. So, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more Aeorzean adventures. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.